strange story took an even stranger twist. Yeah, a monster and a mouse run from a mad scientist. Ooh. Now, Wackerstein wants this monster to have Flatnutsky's brain. Olga's always bored, and that doctor's just insane. Oh, come on. you happy campers. Today's story opens in our nation's beautiful farm belt, that fertile green land of nature's generous bounty, of rolling hills and lonesome prairies stretching to the limitless horizon, land of spacious skies, of fields laden with corn, wheat, and melons, golden land of opportunity and bright prosperity with a chicken in every garage and a car in every pot. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to Melonville. Nice place. Lots of dirt. Spanky, Cesarino. But where are the melons of Melonville? Huh? Where are the melons? Well, young fella, that's a good question. But before I actually get around to answering it, let, let me just take a moment here and tell you about my brother, Zeke. No, that's OK. Thanks. And don't call me young fella. <gasps> but wait, a truck approaches. Wheels. Right, Mo. Quick, stick out your thumb. Huh? Well, looky there. Up ahead, a pair of drifters. Tell me about the drifters, Mo. I can't see over these darn baseboard. Well, one of them got his big ears, and the other sticking his arm out like a dang fool. Oh, man, that happens every time. Mo? Yeah? That mutt's got your arm! <laughs> what in the name of tarnation? Well, this old truck backfiring again. No, Paul. It's sounding more like a pair of drifters smacking into it. Doggy wanna fetch uh, I'm like there. Looks like old Blue Eyes is taking a shot into your blue friend over there. Hey, why don't you two come in for some hot homemade pie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Ain't got no pie. Cause we ain't got no pie fixing. Cause we ain't got no <laughs> melons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excuse me. And all because of those ding dangity crows. <clears throat> ding dangity crows? Ding dangity parakeets, technically. Whatever. See, it's like this. Thus, the humble tiller of the soil unfolds her tale of woe. Hey, I'm telling the story. Now get. Tisk tisk. What a grouch. Time was, we was thriving farm folk. Simple folk, but happy in our melon-growing ways. Then the parakeets came. They weren't ding dangity yet, just sort of parakeety. But then they started carrying on like crazy with their parakeet tunes and abusing the melons. That's when them parakeets got ding dangity. <laughs> Why, there ain't no melons in Melonville. Oh, sad. Very sad. No! Oh, dearie me. 
there's a disturbing sight. When we last left Chez and Mo, at least I think it's Mo, they were about to help Ma and Pa rid Melonville of those ding dangity parakeets. Why, that urban feller could scare the feathers off a vulture. Huh? You thinking? What I'm thinking? Why, he'd make a perfect Ooh. scarecrow. But he'd be a scaring ding dangity parakeets. Technically. Huh? And so we leave our heroes to follow evil. Evil, unrelenting, and motorized, like a gathering storm. Uh, wait a minute, what, wasn't evil supposed to be around here somewhere? Um, uh, evil. Evil has many guises, and uh, uh, this is just one of them. But, uh, um, aha, that's the evil I was talking about. Evil, unrelenting, but parked for the moment. Ah, oh, the country. Clean air, blue sky. It could make me snarf. I told you he should have gone at the last rest stop. Rest. Rest! Igor? It's all gone, you <coughs> hollow bupkis of a man. Until I've planted the brain of the late beloved Flatnotsky into the head of my big blue monster creation, there will be no rest! Onward to destiny! <laughs> And so, thanks to heroic Chesbro and Mo, our farming friends, their purpose renewed, use all the sophisticated agricultural know-how at their disposal to re-establish their precious melon crop. Come on now, Pa. Yep. Hit the this, carrot. Yep. Just, it, it just don't seem to be getting no closer. Don't even think about it. Like, uh, Fido's just grooving, Chesbro. I, I know, but you've got work to do. Yeah, the W word. I have no can do, Ches. Oh, if I get work, then it's a job. That is no right race to crack. Sorry, Mo, but a little hard work. Yeah? Effort never killed anyone. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Pa and Daddy's just lazy. But evil moves closer still. It moves like a poison fog, unrelenting. It follows our heroes like, like, well, something that follows stuff. It's evil with a face. It's evil with male pattern baldness and a mustache. It's evil in the form of Dr. Wackerstein. How's my driving? How do? How friendly. How boring. Tell me, my fine intellectually challenged fellow, did a mouse and a monster have to pass this way? Well, young fella, that's a good question. But before I get around to answering it, let me tell you about me and Zeke. He's my brother, and I see one day me and Zeke got one of them anchoring for fish What have we here? You got your rhubarb pie and your apple okay. and your pizza. Where did you hide your brain? You know, Ma, that little rodent drifter sure sows crops funny. Now, Zeke never could figure out why we was all calling him old pie face instead of old Zeke. See, see we always called him Zeke because that was his name, but the pie face it's thing came in. Got that to be brain in here. We tried not to. God is my witness. I'll never go without melons again. Spanky, new friends. Oh, what's shaking, big stews? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to make friends with them, Mo. Dang, he ain't scaring them at all. He sure scares me. <laughs> Parakeets are singing their melon-killing song again. The beat's a little square, but like, 
Dig, here comes Mr. Fixie with the skins. I got melons all over. I don't know if I'm over. I got melons, oh baby. I love the three men shout out. Bloop, bloop. I love the melon. Boop, boop. Oh, leave out the sea. Well, folks around here don't take to that drifter music. Suppose we're gonna have to tar and feather ya. Wait! A horrible tune done scared off the ding dangity parakeets. And look, the melons is saved. Yay! Can we still turn and feather them? So I guess I have to say nope. I mean, nope. I, I can't rightly say I saw a mouse and a monster pass by. Now, not that that don't mean they didn't. It just means I didn't see them. Now, now Zeke saw them. He could have told me, and you know, I could have told you. The Zeke ain't here, so there you go. And if I have to attest to that... I can't use this! Y'all yeah, take care now, and we'll leave the light on for you. That sound! It's the sound of... of destiny! We are off! Igor! Igor! Oh, ho, ho, ho. The melons is harvested! And you know... It's all thanks to the little drifter and his irritating blue friend. Just a minute. Mm, I, I can't quite see. Now, now I, I think I see trouble, but is that... Oh, darn, if I could only... Mo? Mo can do, Cesarino. Well? Oh, hey, it's that crazy dog, daddy -o. He must be coming to pick some melons. Yeah, yours. Uh, I'll make it short. There's a guy who wants to put Flatnotsky's brain in Mo's head. Flatnotsky? You mean the late fancy paints piano player? Well, don't you worry, little fella. Ma here won't let no one in your friend's skull. Pa, huh? give me those pants of yours. No, oh, Ma, again. And give me a melon, too. And some paint so I can put a face on it. Hmm, nobody's gonna hurt our strange blue drifter. It's him! The knife, Igor! It's Olga! Observe and be amazed! <laughs> the operation is complete! Flatnotsky, he lives! <laughs> This. Your face is coming off. What's the meaning of this? I, I put my beautiful brain in a melon! Ah, no! Yeah, cut the radio, daddy -o, and come out to the patio. Let's swing to the crazy bongo munglo. Cats, uh, grab your chicks, and chicks, grab your cats. And circle to the right with your armpits out of sight. Now flip your wig and lift your leg. Kick your granny. Truth to yeah. tell, and now do the I like that, that big drifter too. better when he was a just a scarecrow. This is one yep. gone. And in wholesome gone. revelry, we bid our heroes, saviors of the melons, farewell. Huh? Where are my socks? <laughs>